coffee and devotions this whoop, <laughs> this Monday morning. Uh, or no, sorry. Woo, man, I'm all over the place. This Sunday morning, September 20th. This is where every weekday morning at 9 a.m. And on the weekends, when I'm able to get away from my kids for a second, you and I, we get together, we have some coffee, we get into God's Word, and we grow in our love for the Lord together. And this year, 2020, we'll make it through all the Gospels. Well, this morning we are at Luke chapter 20, verses 20, chapter 12, verses 22 through 34. Luke chapter 12, verses 22 through 34. One of my favorite patches, passages of the Bible. Let's go ahead and have some coffee, pray, and get into God's Word. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you so much for this day, and we thank you for your word. Father, we pray that we would trust with you. We would trust you with all of our hearts, with all of our souls, with all of our strength. Please, Lord, care for us this day. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, Luke chapter 12, beginning at verse 22. Let's go ahead and jump into it now. Then he said to his disciples, Therefore I say to you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or what nor about the body, what you will put on. Life is more than food, and the body more than clothing. Consider the ravens, for they neither sow nor reap, which have neither storehouse nor barn, and God feeds them. Of how much more value are you than the birds? And which of you, by worrying, can add one cubit to his stature? If you then, who are able to do the least, why are you anxious for the rest? Consider the lilies, how they grow. They neither toil nor spin. And yet I say to you, even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. And then, if then God so clothes the grass, which today is in the field and tomorrow is thrown into the oven, how much more will he clothe you, O oh, you of little faith? And do not seek what you should eat or what you should drink, nor have an anxious mind. For all these things the nations of the world seek after, and your Father knows that you need these things. But seek the kingdom of God, and all these things shall be added to you. Do not fear, little flock. For it is your Father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Sell what you have and give alms. Provide yourself money bags which do not grow old, a treasure in the heavens that does not fail, where, neither, where no thief approaches nor moth destroys. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Well, what a great passage we have for us today. We need to ask, A, what is this about? B, what's the best verse to summarize this? And C, what are we called to do in response to these words? A, what is this about? Do not worry. Don't be anxious. Don't worry. Right? Look, look at the birds. Look at the birds of the air. They neither sow nor reap nor sow or store away in barns. And yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Look at the lilies of the field. Look how beautiful they are. God has arrayed them with such glory. And yet, the flowers of the field are here today, but tomorrow they're thrown into the oven. God knows you need all these things. God knows you, you need things to eat. God knows you need things to drink. God knows you need things to wear. But what do we find? We find a God who loves us and who cares for us. And that if we seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, all these things will be added to you. Now, I'm going to say we need to balance this off with a good, robust biblical theology because there's a whole lot that Scripture says about work. There's a whole lot that Scripture says. You know, if a man doesn't provide for his family, he's worse than an unbeliever. Right? It's good for a man to work with his own hands. This isn't saying to go and be a lazy bum, but this is saying don't be consumed with an inordinate desire for more. Paul says in Ephesians chapter 5 that we're to put off all sorts of sexual sins, but we're also to put off greed, which is idolatry. 
greed, which is idolatry. <laughs> Don't worry about what you're going to eat or what you're going to drink or what you're going to wear. Your Heavenly Father knows all these things. I think uh, in my Bible, I'm going to underline verses 29, 30, and 31. I know I haven't underlined just one verse in a long time. Uh, maybe someday I'll be able to do that, but it ain't going to be today. So don't be anxious. Right? Don't, don't have an anxious mind. You have a heavenly Father who loves you and cares for you. Pray. Paul says in, a, in Philippians chapter 4, verses 6 through 7, Be anxious for nothing, but in all things, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Let's pray. Father, we thank you so much for this day. We thank you for your word. We thank you for your care and your love for us. Let us trust you. Father, we pray that our heart would be in your kingdom and that you would provide for all of our needs. In Jesus' name, amen. May God bless you today. And may he fill you with peace as you get free from anxiety. Bye.